OK, so this is the third in the series of setting up teeth then. This is going to be the lower posterior teeth. So we've got all the uppers complete. We've allowed them to go cool. We've just sealed them all in so they're not going to be moving about. And you just checked your pin as well, yeah, on your articulator? That's right, yeah. And make sure that the pin's always going down and touching the incisal table so you're not, you haven't set these teeth too low. You can see they're meeting nicely with the lower rim now. They're not looking too far away from that lower ridge. We're going to be able to manage there without having to go into a cross bite. So, lower rim back on. And we're going to start this time with the, um, the lower six. So again, the lower teeth come supplied, matched to the upper teeth, the, the same dimensions. Same thing applies again, just clean them up. And then this is your reference point really. So for a class one uh, relationship, we're looking to position the mesiopalatal cusp of the upper six into the central fossa of the lower six. I wouldn't normally draw it on, but I'm just drawing a little line there so you can you can see you what I'm talking about. The, there's, the mesial palatal cusp is just there, so that's going to be the centre of our lower six. So we're going to position that in the in the rim just there. So, as before, taking out just the wax that you need to. So up to now you've just been placing them on and aligning them, it gets a bit fiddly and how because you really have to start thinking in three dimensions, don't you? That's right. So yeah. far we've had the uh, the centric relation locks on the articulator locked, so we've, we've just been hinging this articulator open and closed. What we need to start considering now is how the teeth are going to contact when we go into any of the excursions, so the lateral excursions and the protrusive excursions. So we position the lower tooth to start with so that we get a nice ICP contact when we close down together. So like this. What we're aiming for, yeah. And that's uh, just come a little bit adrift. So just push, position it and you can see that we've now we've got that ICP contact. And then what we can do, although we're, not, we're never going to get it perfect at this stage, we might have to grind the teeth slightly to get them to function perfectly. What we ought to do is just loosen off the condyles. That's the centric relation lock. We can lift that up and tighten it up out of the way so it doesn't fall back down. Same on the other side. Like so, tighten it up. And now we can move the articulator into its excursions so that was moving that tooth into its working side excursion you could see that it didn't interfere massively so we know the cusps are aligned pretty close you're always going to get some small interferences and they'll be ground out later when we uh, convert the denture into acrylic or before trying if we wish yeah you're looking for things to slide reasonably smoothly aren't you and consistently yeah and not lock basically. That's not, right. Not, not go clunk when you move things. So um, we're Quite working fast here so you've got the five on and now the four. So of course with each tooth you add it gets increasingly more difficult because you've got to get each one now not only contacting with its opposing tooth but also harmonizing when you go into those lateral excursions. Mm -hmm. So now we've got six teeth all involved and got to keep them all lined up in, in order. Yeah, it's worth mentioning the teeth are designed to do this. Um, yeah. They've been moulded specifically to do this, so um, you might believe otherwise now and again. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the cheaper teeth mm. tend not to do this very well, mm. where th this is a nice set. Yeah. Not ridiculously expensive, but they're, they're quite well designed and work well. They do flatter your skills sometimes, the better sets, if you've been used to the cheap sort of ones they use on the NHS. So exactly the same process for the other side then. Because now you're thinking always about two sides. And what you tend to find is when you're working on this side and you're going into your working side on this side, the, one, the, teeth, that, the teeth that you did previously 
become the balancing side contacts they tend to get knocked out of the wax so you need to be a little bit careful and keep an eye on what's going on we'll look more about those we'll look more at the uh, working side and balancing side contacts later when we're grinding these in once the denture has been processed okay so that's all six posterior teeth in in this case I'm going to keep an eye on your pin as well now because it's easy to um, get one contact that's a bit heavy that you don't notice yeah that's it then job done excellent